who are you to impose your rules on your child? And the answer is, well, I'm his parent. And you might say, well, what gives you that right? And, and the answer is, well, I took on the responsibility, and so there's rights that go along with that. And second, like, who else is going to do it? So what gives me that right? It's like, it isn't exactly my right, it's my responsibility, right? It's not like I want to put my child on the steps to gratify myself, unless I'm, you know, there's something seriously wrong. It's not pleasurable in and of itself. It's like, I don't want the kid to be a squalling, wretched reprobate that everyone hates. <laughs> and so, and you know, if you remember your, your elementary school, life and junior high school life, you know there were children who were very unpopular and who didn't know how to behave. And how about that isn't your kid? How about that? And so that's who you are to impose those rules. And you say, well, why, how do you know those are the right rules? And the answer is that's bloody tricky, man. And that's partly why it's a good idea to be married because if the two of you can agree on a rule, then there's some reasonable likelihood that it's an okay rule. You know, because what's the probability that you're both crazy in exactly the same way?